Hi, John. Thanks ever so much for spending a bit of time with me this morning. So, um, first of all, let's start by just you telling me your job title. Okay, my name is John Edmondson. I am an Associate Director with ACOM. I lead our Building and Places engineering team in Croydon. Uh, I went to De Montfort University in Leicester and I studied Mechanical Engineering. Was it clear for you what you wanted to do? Actually, I, I ended up um, going into recruitment. But after a while, you know, I realised that I, what I really wanted to be with an engineer, I missed the engineering. So yes, yeah, so I started looking again, um, and I'll be honest, I, I looked at consulting because I thought it sounded, <laughs> sounded impressive. <laughs> you know, I'd done uh, manufacturing engineering, summer jobs, and I'd worked in uh, engineering laboratories in the summer, and you know, they, they were kind of fun, but I, I like the, the kind of wider scope of, of consulting engineering, so, so I applied for that. Whether it's a work experience placement or short-term jobs while you're studying, is it's mm -hmm. giving you that opportunity to filter out what you don't want to do yes. and find where you do have that passion and enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I applied to ACOM. I interviewed for, for, for a graduate job. Yeah. Um, I, I, I interviewed on Thursday and I was sat at my desk on the Monday, actually. And that was 17 and a half years ago now. Have you got any top tips for students as they get towards the end of their time in education to secure a really good graduate placement? Um, partly academic qualifications, but that's yeah. not certainly not be be all and end all. You know, we, we take graduates on, we also take on trainees, so we will sponsor people through university. The technical side of it can be taught, but somebody who can demonstrate flexibility, adaptability, because it's it, it will end up being quite a wide ranging role. What does your job entail? Um, so my role on this project is project director. So that's uh, technical quality and financial oversight. The interesting thing about this project, because uh, One Horde Heath is set up, that they, they're going to own and run this, the overall site, we can take long-term decisions. We wouldn't have the same kind of angle that maybe for a traditional developer. With the One Horde and Heath team, we've been looking at geothermal energy, using the ground as, as a kind of like a heat sink. And it really gives um, a much better energy efficiency. We're doing a lot of studies up front to give a long-term uh, benefit. That is a skill to actually negotiate and be able to clearly communicate the different options. Yes. Do you find that sometimes a challenge with clients? We work hard on developing engineers who communicate. You know, we, yeah. we, we actually have for our graduates soft skill training sessions, you know, which I'm, I'm very jealous that the graduates <laughs> these days get, get it. The strategy can be as great, can, can be amazing, but if, if, if we're not able to tell people about it, then, then some of it is lost. So talk to me the future. What changes are going to happen for you and your team? A lot of this 3D modelling, you know, it's been around for a long time, but it's, it's, it's now really started making roads into construction. That's now filtering into the, into the engineering design. The structural engineers will do, do their design, and then we need to tell them where our services are going through it. They're all identified at the design side, and there, there isn't some guy on site busy cutting, cutting holes. Uh, because that, that, that takes extra time, effort and money and yeah. also any, any cutting on site creates, creates dust which is an environmental problem for, for the environment and also for the workers on site. One final thing that I wanted to ask you really is what motivates you? What excites you about your job role? What do you love about it? I like the variety. I've got to you know, travel and work in several different countries. I, I was a mechanical engineer and then I went over to Libya so we were literally uh, building towns in the middle of the desert and then I went to work in Turkey, helped set up an engineering office there and then came back to London. <laughs> so. Do you find that a real benefit to you as a person that you've mm. gone to an international company so you've had that opportunity to yes. kind of work abroad? Yeah and, and you come back with a different mindset, mm. like a, a broader mindset, you've got, you've got a wider perspective on things and I always wanted to travel, it's kind of really shaped, um, shaped who I am, you know, and I'm, I met my wife working overseas as well I mean, engineering is like it's like a trade. You know, it's like it's like a carpenter. It's like an electrician. You know, you can you, you you learn your skills, and then you can go and do that. You know, they they are very transferable skills. Brilliant. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, John. I really no, enjoyed well, thank it. Thank you. <laughs>